gotcha. It did not save my struct. Okay. Oh wait, yep, there it did. And actually, I want to move that to here. And then I'm going to go ahead and run my fix-up redirectors. <laughs> oh, I appreciate that, Jovio. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If not, eh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm terrible with pronouncing names. Um, God, yeah. If, if I was looking at every every single bug report, even when I have you know 20 others that have information and then 20 that don't, if I was looking at all 40 of those and they were all saying the exact same thing, but 20 of them had nothing useful for me, I'd be wasting a lot of time. <laughs> We'd get a lot less done. <laughs> oh god. Something is broken. Something, something, something broke. What broke? Oh, right. I was freaking out about that earlier. What broke? Where is my UI? Oh, that's at least part of it. No, oh, this is this is correct. go through and manually fix a lot of these. Okay, that's no big deal, I guess. Okay. Uh, retry. Okay, continue. Graph is linked to an external... Apparently, I have upset something. <laughs> And it is not happy. Make sure. That, okay, so I can save that. And save this. Oh, where are you freaking out about? Or what are you freaking out about now? So now it's giving me... <sighs> yeah, that's that's what I'm working on. I've got to figure out where everything is. Yeah, yeah. Open and save every single object until I find the one that's fucked up. And until this one is fixed, I can't do anything about the other one. Compile, save, interactable objects to make sure there's nothing in pickups that might be causing the problem. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, here's the inventory. Okay, that interactable object is not causing the problem. It is linked to private objects in an external package. External objects engine transient. Okay. 
Okay. Picks up. Save. Actor class. Hmm. Can't call an actor class. Um, just for now, let me get rid of that. I will go through this whole damn thing until I find the one thing that's wrong. is wrong. Okay, so it is with the inventory UI. That that was where the error was lying. So now if I put a new one in there. Compile. Save. Yeah, well, um, it's mainly just in case you drop the item, then, but, yes, that's, that's roughly what I was going for, Xy. Um, okay, so now, inventory UI, can put this back, compile, save, I don't know why that did that, that was weird, but now the RPG controller should be fine, maybe. <coughs> mm. That was weird. Okay, well. Hey, Iretech, long time no see. Welcome back, man. All right. Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking, but um, but it's not letting me access the actor class, which is weird. It's always weird. Okay. Anyways, let's let's get back to this. So this is working again. Okay. Our highlights are not working again. So let me go back in and fix that. Over over the actor, that's the new system can be different things like reference or class. Okay, okay, so we're gonna I'm gonna follow your lead here, sir. So when you hit new variable OB, OBJ name or type. Actor, right. Okay, so it didn't like that. Uh, did not like that at all. Not entirely sure. Uh... Okay. UEQA, Adam Davis. Tempted to call actor class to struct. <sighs> Yay! By the way, did you guys know the stream name is not, uh, 
is it's not hey let's be helpful it's actually hey adam's gonna bang his head on a keyboard and watch everything fall apart that's the name of the stream guys <laughs> pick up parent okay so let's see how far back i need to go here this is gonna freak out or if it's okay looks like it's gonna freak out again Sweet. At least this time I know what I'm looking for. Main UI. Boop. So I don't know what's going on here. This is weird. Every every time we crash, this thing freaks out. So I'm going to have to figure out what's going on there. <clears throat> Hmm. Yeah, that that's gonna have to be the the next step there. Uh, Xy is this is clearly not working out. Compile, save. Okay, now now that we have successfully saved, let me. Do that. Save. Okay. Close it down. Oops. Wrong thing. My launcher should be there it is. All right. Don't don't worry about that. So now let's open up the main UI. Nope, it's still not liking it. Well, why? Oh, that's a, that's a conundrum. Hmm. Oh yeah, if you haven't played Vermintide, you should absolutely play it. Absolutely play it. Amazing game. But anyways. I am at a loss. Okay. Let me see. So the, this is mostly for me here. 5820 at live. Uh, I'm going to be posting this to Rudy to get him to take a look at what may be going on. Uh, I've got an inventory UI here that I put inside of a scale box as you had suggested previously. Um, it seems like every time I close and reopen the editor it ends up deleting my inventory UI in here and then I can't save due to a uh, due to a weird thing where every time I save and reopen someone has just suggested a rename so I'm gonna try that but otherwise I may need you to take a look at this and I'll remind myself tomorrow let's try inventory still or well I guess I need to actually Actually, Joviex, that's that's pretty much exactly what I was just doing. <laughs> was leaving a message for Rudy so that I knew where, <laughs> where to point him to so I could show him this issue tomorrow. <laughs> uh, that's uh, that was my plan. <laughs> Let's see here. Inventory stuff. Now it is clearly not just inventory UI. It is inventory stuff.